What's your name? What's up guys, my name is Nathan McGuire. Um, this is my 98 Mustang Cobra. Do you want to start on the body, like yeah. exterior wise? No, it's got, it's currently has a um, S14 KVD body kit. Which is just the side skirts right here. And then the front, just to make it stand out from all the uh, other Mustangs. And you said it was an S14? Yeah, it's an S14 by, from KVD body kits. Okay. It looks really aggressive on there. Yeah, I think it's it makes the front end of a Mustang stand out a lot, lot more. Oh yeah. I, I um I've never been a fan of the uh, Mustang bumper, how wide it's, it will stick out, because the stock one will stick out like right right about here. So it really shortened uh, the look of it. I'll turn the lights on. So no, those are just um, these are just universal Amazon vendors. Uh, unfortunately, they don't make too many. Uh, they don't make any wide body kits for this car. So if I want one, I'm gonna have to make it myself. Which I might do eventually, but I don't really care. It's a drift car, so just have fun. Yeah. So it's got nothing special. It's just engine-wise, it's stock right now. Uh, I do have plans upgrade the engine aspect of it but for now I've just got cooling mods and that's that's kind of it as far as the engine. And who makes this right here? Uh, yeah so this is this is some some guy he just he makes parts for these cars and I, all this did was take the uh, thermostat from the bottom and allow me to relocate it to the top before the uh, radiator so it allows for better cooling. Well, it makes it easier to work on. Yeah, it also makes it way easier to work on, and I just think it cleaned up this whole area a lot nicer, because the stock one has a lot of pipes all running right through here. I just get it to kind of clean it up. Is that the only like, cooling modification you do? Yeah, as far as cooling, yeah. I mean, I, I do have a bigger radiator. Um, and then as far as, like, I've got my power steering cooler and an oil cooler, which goes and wraps up in my uh, fender well. But yeah, other than that, it's pretty, it's pretty basic. I'm only at about like 3 310 to the wheel right now. So for what I'm doing, it's good for now. But yeah. I definitely would like more power. You're killing it out there. Too. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. And how much do these things weigh, the Mustang? So this one's right at about 30, 32 almost. 32. It's like right at 3, 31.99. So it's a little bit beefier than I, I would like, but... It still works. Yeah. The other mod I've done, which is I always recommend to other Mustang drifters, especially with these cars, is uh, these are just manual brakes. So now when I'm chasing people, I can uh, bust a brake helps with chasing people a lot better. I'm able to stay a lot closer when it matters, so. And Willwood makes those? Yeah, there's there's a lot of different kits. This is a Willwood master cylinder. Um, and then I've got a company called uh, Maximum Motorsports. That's my actual brake pedal and stuff. Okay. Yeah, that's about it for the engine. Not too much done. I did remove the stock header panel. The Mustang guys will, will see that that's not stock at all. And I just made some uh, headlight buckets, just so I could hang the, my lenses on them. And I was gonna ask you, what is this right here? So this is called a hacky stump. All the LS guys will know what this is, but this just keeps it so I, if um, that red light you saw in the cockpit, that tells me that that's open. So if I'm ever driving and that red light's going off, I, that, it's telling me I need to shut the engine down. Okay. So this will give me a couple seconds of extra oil in case something, in case I like blow a hole in it. Well, I guess at that point your engine's fucked, but yeah. But uh, it's just like it's just cheap insurance. It'll okay. just allow my engine to have more oil in in situations it needs it. Kind of like for like safety measures. Kind of just for the engine itself, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what exactly does this do? You say it runs oil. So yeah, so you fill this with oil, and it's also so one side's got oil, the other side's got air, and I have it set up right here. So if this is a pneumatic valve that's set up with a, uh, a PSI trigger. So if 
this, if my PSI goes below whatever this gauge is, it's at, I, set it, I have it set at 30 PSI, it will open up and pump more oil into my engine. Okay. So the only time it should ever go below 30 PSI is if something bad happens. So, or at startup. So I also use it to oil it before it starts, just to help it start it. Prevent some like wear and tear? Yeah, just to prevent. It's just like a preventative thing. And you said a lot of LS guys run those? Yeah, any, if you go to any, any of these LS swap guys, especially like the comp cars, you'll see, you'll see one of these somewhere. That's where I got the idea. You don't usually see them on these engines, but it doesn't matter what your engine is, you can, it will help your car. So you can actually use that for Oh yeah, you can use it for anything. Um, I actually, the initial idea is I watched um, a kid on YouTube put one on his 8.6, his old oh, okay. AE 8.6. Uh -huh. He had a three uh, a beam swap 8.6 and he had one in it. Okay. Gave me the idea like, oh, well why not? It's just cheap insurance. And you maybe practice for it? Yeah, I just, I just put these together real fast. A lot of the stuff I, I put together fast because I just, I just wanted to get it done. You just want to go drifting? Yeah, get it back out and get it driving. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's about it for the front. That whole aspect. And uh, how about suspension? So suspension I'm on, I have feels on all four corners. <laughs> Angle kit, I've, uh, I've got most of Scotty D's paint parts, pretty much his whole catalog I've got. His angle kit, the, the new tie rods, the rear control arms. I've got his handbrake. He makes his the company makes some really good stuff for Mustangs, and I'm sure if you're watching this and are a Mustang driver, you've heard of them. I would highly recommend them. So that's that's that, and then like I said, I got feels in the rear. Nothing in the rear. There's nothing too fancy yet. I'm still just on a stock fuel setup. Um, yeah, nothing too fancy in here. Okay. And that's, what are these lines for? So that's, I just have it so it's a, a tire sprayer. Okay. So I could spray my tires and cool them down while I'm drifting. Keep Doesn't last tires lasting? Yeah, it makes the tires last a lot longer. And then as far as the interior, there's definitely a lot done in the interior. Um, I will be competing in this coming up in October. So that, I just recently finished this cage. And you said you uh, fabricated this yourself? Or yeah. Welded it all together? Yeah, I did everything. Yeah. Cut it, bent it, welded it. Uh, really impressive. Thank you, man. Oh, I just noticed it went behind the, the dash, yeah. too. Yeah, so I, my dash comes out. The <laughs> thing I like the most are these, are my little fabric on the doors, because uh -huh. it matches my center console. So I took my center console and just put an uh, aluminum plate. Usually that's where all the AC controls are and stuff, but don't need those. So you still got AC too? No, so I, I actually have what's called a cool shirt system. I just didn't bring it. Okay. And it just pumps cold water into a, spe a specialized shirt, mm -hmm. and it just cools you down during hot days. I was going to bring it today, but it's been nice, so. Yeah, overcast weather? Yeah, so I didn't need it today, so that's yeah. good. Yeah, I heard those cool shirts. Uh, everyone really likes those. Like, yeah, I, I've used it. I only used it once because I just recently got it, and it was it was a it was a godsend out <laughs> out here. It was like 110 out. It was miserable, but with the shirt on, it was it was doable. Felt like you don't even need AC with yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. So I'll show you. The, the, Yeah, this is the handbrake this by, from Scotty D. It's a very nice handbrake, and it's just set up. And I have dual, I have this dual caliper kit. Um, just gauges that tell me my oil pressure and temperature right here. And then this one is my coolant temperature. And then this just turns on my, I have underglow or my lights or my water sprayer in the back. That water sprayers for the rear tires? Yeah, that'll be for the rear tires. Okay. And then I've got a, yeah, that's about it. I mean, I do have a wide band just to keep an eye on the fuel, the fueling. That's pretty much it. You have a battery relocated in the back, but that's not exciting. Yeah, this is probably my favorite part about the interior, all these switches and then uh, yeah. this material. Yeah, so that light, that's that from that Aki sump. So I can turn it off and on, but I always keep it on. 
for a safety measure. Yeah. And then, yeah, I've got two fire extinguishers for now until I get a legit system back in it. Yeah, I don't see a lot of people with fire extinguishers in their car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to risk it, so. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I just keep two. Eventually, I'll be putting in one of those standards, those uh, competition legal ones where you got the pulse, the pole handle. And, yeah, I haven't got that for you. But. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. Oh, that's a, Do you want to give us some res real quick? Yeah. <laughs> that should probably be like right here. motorcycles my whole life and then I just got bored of it and decided I wanted wanted to build something and I had always liked the initial D and watching all that stuff like might as well try it this is probably a little safer than motorcycles too yeah <laughs> that's the thing I'm getting a little bit older and I've been in a couple crashes because I've, I've been motorcycling my whole life third and street and yeah I'd, uh, I'd rather just yeah definitely safer it's yeah. it's a lot cheaper than say like a time attack or drag racing. It's a lot more fun. Yeah. 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 yeah drifting is like so much fun. It's it's like I'm a little kid again, and yeah. it's it's crazy when I'm out there. I have a smile across both ears. Just the whole time. The whole time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. Is there anything else you want to show us? Or? Oh, that's about it. I mean, I've got. Yeah, that's it. I think we went over everything. Yeah. Yeah. That was a pretty good walk around. Yeah. I've done a lot of stuff to this Mustang. Yeah. And like you said, yeah, I remember you seeing it when it was like pretty stock. Yeah, it was about like three months ago, three, four yeah, months ago. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I didn't have the cage done. I had the rear cage, but I didn't have the body kit stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't look anything like this besides yeah. like the white and black. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I like that theme you got going on with the white and black. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. All right, dude. I think we'll call it there. Thanks for, uh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, man. 